principles of inheritance and variation this is introductory session or this is introduction about principles of inheritance and variation in this definitions are discussed what is inheritance inheritance is the process of trans meeting in simple words transferring characters from parents to of springs this include characters uh, this include external appearance as well as genetic makeup now coming to variation what is variation variation is the difference between the living beings in different levels like cellular external appearance genetic makeup etc in in the uh, in the organisms in the living beings of uh, in a single species or in um, different species in between the uh, organisms in a in a species or different species now coming to what is gene gene is the functional unit of genetic material that is chromosome we can also say dna is all made up of gene also say dna is made up of genes or the um, or the functional part of the dna which expresses protein uh, which is responsible for protein synthesis are called gene now coming to allele one gene is made up of a pair of similar or different characters each of which is called allele allele is a pair of characters either similar or dif either identical either identical or different a pair of characters present in each gene now coming to dominant trait before discussing dominant trait we must discuss f1 generation and f2 generation and these uh, terms like uh, what is cross or mating so cross or mating let me write cross or mating is fusion of male and female gamete in simple words fertilization so when fertilization uh, is done according to the necessity suppose uh, two similar correct characters are fertilized means male and female gamete uh, have those similar characters then it's uh, called or uh, different types of characters Th this type of uh, fusion is called cross or mating now coming to what is 
monohybrid cross. Monohybrid cross is a mating experiment in which a single pair of characters are used to determine to determine um, how genes are transferred to determine a uh, role of inheritance. Dihybrid cross is a mating experiment in which is a mating experiment in which uh, actually a single character not single pair single character And in case of a pair of character, in case of dihybrid cross, a pair or a pair or two characters are considered or observed. What happens to those characters? For example, in case of monohybrid cross, a tall plant and short plant can be mated or crossed. In case of dihybrid cross, mm, uh, yellow seeded, yellow and wrinkled seeded, and a green and a round seeded plant can be mated. Now that we'll discuss in detail later on. This is the discussion about the basics, basic terms used in in this chapter principles of inheritance and variation now coming to the next one that is f1 generation and f2 generation f is f is filial filial generation f is filial it is the first set of progeny progeny means offspring or in uh, in simple words daughter cells it, it is the first set of progeny produced in any mating experiment so f2 generation you can understand that second filial generation that is second set of progeny obtained from mating of mating in between F1 generation so in case of f1 generation the mating experiment is done by in between two parents that is male parent and female parent that's a parent a p generation so here we can include in between male and female parent male and female parent now it's easier to understand dominant trait dominant trait means character is the character expressed is the only pay attention to the where uh, only is used dominant trait is the only character observed in F1 generation so it is it is the only characters expressed or produced in simple words produced 
in F1 generation. Now recessive trait is only expressed or produced in F2 generation as it gets suppressed by dominant trait in F1 generation. So always in simple words always the dominant trait will be expressed or seen or observed in F1 generation whereas recessive trait will be only observed or found in second generation that is F2 generation. Sorry for the repetition. Now coming to homozygous trait or homozygous character. Homozygous means same or similar. So homozygous trait means same. It's pure type of character also called pure character. Homozygous trait is the type of trait in in homozygous trait in a gene when in a gene allele contains a pair of allele have same characters it is called homozygous for example tall plant if it's pure then it will be um, denoted it will be shown as capital TT now heterozygous in a pair of allele when two characters are different from each other then the gene or the characters are called heterozygous. Now coming to the next type uh, next definition that is phenotype. Phenotype is the external appearance of a trait for example tallness yellow seed etc. Now genotype is the genetic makeup or internal means that is in gene level internal expression of a trait for example homozygous tall plant means this plant will produce pure tall plant up to many generations. Now test cross. Test cross is a type of mating experiment done by Gregor Mendel. Mendel is called father of genetics. We will discuss about Mendel also later. 
is a type of mating experiment done by um, Mendel in which one dominant plant with unknown genotype is crossed or mated with recessive parent to know the type of to know the genotype now what is self pollination is a type of fertilization in which pollen grain from the pollen grain is transferred from transferred to the stigma of the same flower of same plant cross pollination this is done to produce this is done to produce homozygous progeny cross pollination is a type of fertilization or mating fertilization in which pollen grain is transferred from either one flower to another of same plant or different plant now what is punnett square is the genetic makeup in form of is writing of genetic makeup in form of checker board